Hey, top 50 most wanted in the world, and the number one drug lord in all of Canada, they said. I'm, big, I'm bigger than the Hells Angels. I'm bigger than the Banditos. I'm bigger than every fucking badass in this country. In fact, when I was arrested, when I was arrested in 2005, July, Mark Emery would distribute high-grade marijuana seeds, as you can see, to virtually every state in the United States. Mark Emery had tentacles in all 50 states. Tentacles in all 50 states. It's like I'm the Viet Cong and my and it's a Ho Chi Minh trail of seeds going down in there. Can't, can't. So you, you, you would normally think, what the hell did you do to get that? I'll tell you what I do. I sold seeds, I sold millions of seeds, but that wasn't really my crime. My crime was the whole idea. It was called overgrowing the government. And in 1990, after I realized, holy crap, they can even ban books and magazines that tell the truth. They can put people in jail. We've got to have a revolution. And to run a revolution, you need lots of money. And I thought, well, if I sell these seeds and get out there and millions of plants emerge from these seeds, then we're going to have weed everywhere. Great weed, good weed, different kinds of weed. People will be able to grow in their backyard instead of having to buy weed in the inner cities. The medical people. I, I actually gave over 500 people with medical cards across Canada and the United States free seeds just so they would never have to go to the inner cities. They could grow their own weed, and it would be great weed, and we'd have good pot everywhere. And the idea would be even if the government threw 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 50,000, 100,000 people at it, we would still overgrow them. We would still grow more weed than they could destroy. Josh, what, what have you been up to right now? Uh, I just showed up like 10 minutes ago, and uh, I'm running around planting actual weed seeds on the U.S. consulate and through this entire park. Park here. I'm um, planning on planting seeds everywhere I go from now on. Period. Nice. That's great. Yeah. And what's, yeah. the, what's the idea there? Uh, it's exactly what uh, Mark Emery said, overgrow the government. The idea was we would sell those seeds, people would grow weed everywhere, they would overgrow the government and then I'd use their money to subvert the drug war. I heard that Mark Emery's favorite strain is White Widow. Uh, but I, I have seen a pure White Widow maybe twice in the last five to seven years. Uh, very few people grow it because it doesn't yield very much, but it's incredibly beautiful strain. I've smoked it maybe on four occasions in the last ten years, not very much. And if anybody's going to be there on Saturday with pure White Widow... Do you know what type of strain you're... Uh uh, me, I've got homegrown pretty much stuff or just whatever I found, you know, whatever seeds I could find, doesn't matter, they're all weed seeds, they're all going everywhere, yeah. Well, what did I do with those seeds? I took these seeds that don't, don't even contain any drug volume, that are genetically, to all intents and purposes, identical to the millions of seeds we sell in our grocery stores and in those cereal flakes. It's, they're just seeds, just seeds. And I'm being covered the number one significant threat to the United States and Canada, the number one drug czar in Canada, and one of the top 50 most wanted in the world. And all I did was deliver seeds to consenting adults across an invisible line that doesn't even exist from space. Borders don't even exist when you look at the planet as one big living organism. What did I do? Because why would anyone go to jail for seeds, and why should anybody go to jail for marijuana at all?